Okie dokie. In this problem, we are given the differential equations for the SIR model. And so we have S prime, I prime, and R prime representing the rates of change of SI and R respectively. Here we are given an S value and an I value at time six. And then they're asking which of these statements are correct regarding S prime, I prime, and R prime all at six. So basically all we need to do is plug in this S value, 302, and plug in this I value, 423, into S and to I, respectively, wherever we see them in all three equations. So we're going to try some something fun here and look at Desmos while we're doing this. And I have the equations somewhat set up. So again, we are plugging in 423 for I, and 302 for S. So what I have in this first box is S prime already. So that's negative 153. I wonder if I can write this down next to it. Let's do negative 153.3. All right, and then I prime I have set up here. Again, I times S, so 423, and then 302 and then minus 0.9 times i, which again is 423. So then for i prime, we have negative 227. I'll do 0.4, shouldn't really matter. And then for r prime at the bottom, we have 0.9 times i, or 423. So we have 380, positive 380.7. All right, so we have our values. Let's go ahead and get out of this. All right, back at it. Pretty neat. All right, so we have S prime, I prime, and R prime. All right, and now again, we're just comparing the values that they tell us. So S prime, they say, is greater than I prime. So negative 153 is greater than negative 2. 27. Is this true? Yeah, that's exactly right. So negative 153 is it's more towards the positive direction and more towards the positive part of the number line. Negative 227 is too deep into the negative. So this is a true statement. Number two, uh, R prime is 380 positive value. And they say it's greater than I prime, which again is a negative value. So of course this is true. And so it looks like both 1 and 2 are correct. Break out the eraser and see that B is in fact our answer.